what a great privilege we have in Christ Jesus to meet on this platform, Wake Up to Hope, this week. I am always happy whenever it's time for me to come on your way with the word of the Lord to share some of the things that I have learned during the week with you and to all others who will be watching or listening to this uh, broadcast. I'm so glad that God has taken care of you and your family and friends and everybody around the globe. We know many things are happening and many are the things that are yet to happen. But in the midst of all these, God is in control and he has promised to be with us. So do not be afraid of anything. Just keep your trust and your confidence in the Lord and trust in his word and you will surely never be disappointed. My dear beloved, this week we are looking at who are you listening to? Who are you listening to? In this life, there are many forms of voices that speaks into our lives or that we come across each day. We hear it from different backgrounds and different ways and different, you know, circles of life. But the question is, in all these of these voices, which of them do you listen to? You will hear, but to listen is different. To listen means to pay attention to details. It means you are not just giving your ears to what is being said or being done, but you want to really get the full input of what that voice is communicating to you. It also to listen carefully to obey. More often when people give an attention to a voice that is speaking to them, it means they want to know the details of it so that whatever needs to be done is done accordingly. As much as we have many voices to listen to, I just want to recommend one particular voice this week to you that you have to pay attention to. And if you are not hearing that voice, then you better look for that voice. And that is the voice of God. Beloved, the voice of God is very, very, very paramount you know, to life because without it, you are going nowhere. You see, in life, you can only benefit from a product if only you were listening to the manufacturer of that product because he determines the functionality of the product. He tells you what to do and what not to do when there is a problem, where to go and how to go about it. If you're listening to any other voice that is not the producer of that product, you are just listening to noise. Why? Because at the end of the day, it will not bring you the results you are looking for. In this life, we have many questions and we have many needs. We have many things that we do not understand and we want to hear and to know what to do about life. In the quest of fulfilling that, many are following all kinds of things and doing all sorts of things in life. But at the end of the day, they are not able to achieve their ultimate purpose of getting the answers and solutions to many challenges and issues going on in this world. But I can assure you there's one place you can go to and there's one person you can listen to that is the creator of the entire universe. He did not just create it, he sustains it, he owns it, he directs it, and he has set it in such a way that it works according to his order. So if there is anything you need to understand in this life, you have to go to God. That is why the writer of the book of the Trinity, chapter 6, Verse 4 says, listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. In other words, listening to God alone. Listening to God. How do you listen to God? You listen to God by going to the manual that he has revealed himself in to us. That is the Bible. The Bible is the primary source of knowing the mind of God and understanding his purpose for life. So I want to encourage you, spend some good time reading the word and in reading you will hear god speaking to you don't just allow people to read the bible and give you their commentaries all the time you need also to spend time because the spirit of god 
which is the author of the word. If you believe in Jesus, that spirit comes and dwell in you. And once you sit to read the Bible, the Holy Spirit also gives you a better understanding. And that is why it is important as a Christian, or if you are deciding to become a follower of Jesus, you need to spend time reading the Bible. Because that is where you'll be blessed and grow in your faith. So this week, in your attempt to listen to the voice of God, Beloved, check these five things. One, listening to God for a life-changing experience. Listening to wisdom will save you from self-destruction. Listening to the Holy Spirit is a truly godly way of life. And listening to godly counsel will establish your plans for life. Listening and understanding God's word is profitable. Beloved, if you take your time and listen to God, and close your ears to many other voices. I'm here to let you know that your life will never be in the mirrors. Always God will be present. Because the Bible has promised us that he is our present help in times of need. May God bless you and keep you safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. <music>